it's Aura and welcome back to Love Cosmetics YouTube channel. It's October! Woohoo! And October is my favorite month because not only is my birthday, but it's also Halloween, which is one of my favorite dates. I love Halloween because basically you can dress up to anything, you can play around with makeup, it's a lot of color. So for this tutorial, I have created this Cleopatra look. You know, she's a beauty goddess and a big inspiration in beauty. Uh, also one of the like trendsetters with the Kayal and everything so therefore we're honoring her today So if you want to see how I created this Cleopatra look with a modern twist stay tuned and keep on watching I'm gonna start with using the dare to dare palette to create the crease and then move on to uh, the golden shades It actually has mostly some brown shades uh, and then bossy which is the golden one and it looks like this And just put it on your crease so why I'm using bold is because it's a shade that is closer to my skin color like that when you have created your base you can move on to bossy so uh, I'm just gonna take my finger dab a little it's actually a very creamy shade so that's why I'm using my finger because the color is gonna be more intense and then I'm just gonna put it on my lid Start in the middle, like this. Start to see that there is some fallout, so that's great that we have our loose powder under here. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. It's like I found the El Dorado here. So you start to see this really bold gold look. I love it. It's okay if it's not perfect. We're gonna blend it out later on. So basically, when you have gold over your eyelid, we're gonna move on and just with a fluffy brush, use the eye lotion palette which has this really nice uh, yellow shade that is completely matte so you just take the yellow shade and just blend it in I really like Cleopatra I think she was basically one of the coolest chick we have in history just also like I believe that if she would live today she would be like the best youtuber ever because she would create all these makeup tutorials she likes gold a lot, so today we're gonna emphasize that. From that, I'm gonna move on to top up with some toppers in a gold shade. And for that, I'm gonna be using the Glitter Unexpected. It looks like this. And inside, it has this very beautiful golden topper that you can put on any eyeshadow. I just wanna swatch it for you guys because this is amazing. So I'm just gonna take my finger again and just dab it in. I just put it on top of the other shadow and it's gonna give it an even more dramatic golden look. Wow, it really is like I just melted gold and put it on my eyelids. And actually for a hooded eye like mine, it's creating this illusion of a lid that I usually don't have. So it's perfect so from that I'm just gonna go back to my dare to dare palette where I'll be using courageous but with a fluffy brush I just take courageous dab it in a little and just take it in the outer corner of the eye like that and then do the same on the other eye I really love this eyeshadow I think that if I would make it less dramatic, I could definitely wear this on a New Year's Eve or like on a day out. We're gonna move on to create, you know, give the status to this look with the eyeliner because that really makes the Cleopatra look. It's like classic and so Cleopatra. Like this is what's gonna put the Cleopatra stamp onto our look. For that, I'm gonna be using the royal liner, which is basically, you know, Cleopatra. She's a royal in the Egyptian. Time, so I'm gonna be using that for creating hair look so just remember to take it a little so basically your uh, guideline is gonna be your lower lash line just follow that like that and then you're gonna make you know this kind of wing meet with your upper lash line and this is a moment where we all kind of don't breathe, but I mean, I, I should breathe at least. Because you're always so afraid to screw up with eyeliner. Sometimes a look that is supposed to take five minutes can take 
15 or 20 because you just make, instead of a cat, you look like a donkey or something else. So from here, I'm just gonna drag it out, just very, like, a straight line. And it kind of should end at the end of your uh, brow. It's okay if you drag it out a little more. So to give the final Cleopatra touch in, uh, with our eyeliner, we're gonna be using the liner and close to our teardrop. And you can see the thin line that this pen does. It's amazing, right? So I just want you to take a thin, small brush and go back to the Dare to Dare palette. Basically, they're like, I'm using today my two favorite shades in this palette, like I really like it. And in this palette, we're gonna be using for our teardrop, the Unforgiven shade, and it looks like this. Actually, to make it more metallic, I'm gonna be using some setting spray. I'm just, it's kinda gonna make it a little more wet. And then go here in the inner corner. Follow your eyeliner as a guideline. And from there, we apply it in the middle here. And just follow kind of the, the wing line that you've made. If you want, you can also drag it out and just fill it in all over, but I'm, I want to leave the space in the middle there. So it kind of looks like a fish, I, I would say. Like, like that. So just take a little of, of your favorite concealer and put it here in between. That's gonna make the lines more sharp and it's gonna make it pop more. Oh my goodness. You know, we always read in the history books about these uh, figures of history, but in the end there were normal people like us. Just like that. It looks like you, your eyes are gonna fly away. So that's how I want it to be. So in case you want, you can always add on top a little more of the dazzling sparkle on top to kind of make it more, but I think that it's, it looks nice. So to top this up, I'm just gonna finish by adding some Royal Lash mascara on my lashes and this is actually in waterproof but just to kind of oh my goodness look at this so you can finish it like this or you can add your favorite uh, fake lashes on top which is what i'm gonna do this mascara itself is really gorgeous it defines your lashes it gives you length and the volume you want so let's move on to just warm up our face a little with some contouring and then finish with some amazing lip technique that I have for you guys. For my face, I'm gonna be using the Shape and Glow face palette, which looks like this. Because the contrast of all the colors are really gonna make kind of the eyes pop. And you know, when it's Halloween, you can, nothing is wrong in reality. So if you want to put bronzer on your nose, you can do that. So I like when there are no rules. Blush is optional, but otherwise you can actually take the Eye Devotion palette. And there is this very beautiful Ara color, not Aura, but Ara, which is the orange one here. And then put a bronzer. And why I chose uh, the orange color is because it's actually the contrary color of blue. So it's really gonna make it pop more and it's gonna be looking a bit more like Sahara. So. And it's not a completely matte color, so you know, it kind of has a little glow in it, so it's really nice. So for highlighter, I'm gonna be using the new Me First palette that I used in the last tutorial. Uh, and I'm actually gonna try a new color called Only, uh, and I'm gonna mix it a little with Love, because Love is very bronzy, so I don't want it to be too dark. It's perfect though, if you are a little more dark complexion, it will look fabulous on you. You will look like a mix of Cleopatra and Efertiti, so bring it on, girl. And it looks like this. This is Only, and this is Love. I start with Only, blend it a little with bronze,
to remove the gift set this month. Yes. Finish up before the big magic, the lips. Like that. And let's move on to lips. So for that, I'm gonna be using the Lip Affair Precision Care Lip Definer in 100% transparent. That looks like this. And this works basically for any color because it's translucent. So I'm gonna be using this because um, I'm gonna be creating my own lip shade. So for this, we're gonna be using two products and one of them we have already used, which is the Bossy Eyeshadow on our lids. And we're gonna mix it with the Love Delicious 191 Prismatic Privilege, which looks like this. So, <laughs> let's take some of this on our hand. I love to create like my own shade, so this feels like magic. Take your bossy shadow on your finger, just crumble a little. Like this. Basically, just dab it in. And then kind of mix it. <laughs> Look at this. And suddenly you have a beautiful, glossy, golden lip gloss. And the lip gloss is also a long lasting lip gloss, so it's gonna last on your lips, so it's not gonna disappear. So to get more precise, use lip brush, and then just apply it. And after, you can apply some of it eyeshadow on top, kind of to set uh, our own uh, lip color. So when you're done with your golden lipstick, you can just go on and apply some final touches. You could even put some hieroglyphs uh, on your lips or just create your own little pattern, uh, which is just gonna make it look more like uh, Cleopatra and more Egyptian. And I'm gonna be using uh, the Royal Liner uh, just to create some little details on my mouth and just take it and then in the middle of the mouth I'm just gonna drag a, a straight line just like that and then it's done so for a final touch I'm just gonna finish up by using the Perfectitude 3 in 1 Matte and Fixing Spray to just set my makeup and you know be ready for the party so just apply a little and it kind of freshens up the makeup and lets it sit where it's supposed to be so just let it dry and then it's done so this is the final look I'm really happy with it. I think it's classy, it's elegant, and Cleopatra is always a good idea for any Halloween party out there. Also, I would like to know what you guys are gonna be this Halloween, so comment below and let me know, because I would love to hear from you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Love's YouTube channel, and hit the notification button so that you don't miss any of our news. It was great to see you guys, and I hope that you have a great Halloween. Take care, until next time.